Hey guys, how you doing out there? Welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com Today I'm doing a tutorial It's a request from M424 Filmcast Who wants me to show you guys How to do a lens flare that moves So, let's get into it First thing you want to do is Bring your clip down into the timeline and I'm going to go ahead and bring it to the beginning of the clip Next thing I want to do is I want to click on Edit I'm going to click on effects and you can type in like if I didn't have anything typed in here you type in lens and the lens flare option will show up you click on that and click on apply now you see the lens flare on here but the issue is M424 Filmcast wants to move it across the screen so I don't know how he wants to move it but I'm going to move it the way I want to because this is my tutorial and I'm going to move it where I want to so I'm going to go ahead and click on edit effects now, when you click on Edit Effects, this is how it's going to show up initially. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to enable keyframe, uh, toggle the animation for the keyframes on, so it turns blue. Then click on the lens flare word once. You'll see some crosshairs pop up. You want to just go ahead and move this bad boy over to where you want your lens flare to start, and leave it right there. Now you want to open up the keyframe option here so it'll show you the keyframes and you'll see on the first keyframe is where I started it so now I simply want to move the tracker or timeline track over to the last keyframe now I'm over a little far so I'm just going to step back until I can see the keyframe here or see the the clip and I'm going to drag it where I want it to be at the end so this is the simplest way to move your keyframe across the screen or move your lens flare across the screen so now you'll see that there's a keyframe showed up there as well now that I'm done I'm gonna click done so basically if I go back to the beginning of this clip and I click play you will see the lens flare move across the screen now that's a simple way to go about doing it now I'm pretty sure that a lot of you will be fine with the way that this is done and it just moves across the screen pretty easily but some of you want a little bit more flair a little bit extra flair on your lens flair so what I'm gonna do is show you a little bit something different so if I click on the lens flare that I already have on here and click edit effects it's gonna edit this particular lens flare that I already have in here so I can do a lot of things with this. I can go ahead and if I want to adjust any other things on here. So we got the center, we got the brightness, and we got the blend. So I'm gonna go to the brightness. And if I want to, I can change it at the beginning to have it really bright. And then if I click this, it'll take me to the last keyframe on here. And then if I want to, I can bring it down really low at the end but if I click done and I go to the beginning of this clip and I hit play you'll see it move across the screen but you'll also see the brightness go down as it goes across the screen so that's one thing you can do and there's plenty of other things that you can do with it as well so let's go back to the beginning of this clip and I'm going to click on the same keyframe, the same lens flare, and I'm going to click Edit Effects. And I'm going to just move this back down some so that the first keyframe that is on is lower. Now, another thing I could do, if I hit Done, I could actually add more lens flares. If I click Lens Flare again and I click Apply, you'll see another lens flare show up on the screen. So if I click on, let's just click on Edit Effects. You'll see that right now I'm on the, the lens flare that I already did. And you know that because it has the keyframes in here. So I'm going to close that one and I'm going to click on a new one. And I'm going to click on toggle animation. Now you'll see a keyframe at the beginning. If I click on it once, I get the crosshairs. And let's say this one, I want it to start off down here. And I want this one to be a small lens flare. So I'll make them smaller. Matter of fact, let's do this so I can 
see a little bit easier. If I'll make this a little keyframe or a little lens flare, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show my keyframes again. And I'm going to drag it all the way to the last keyframe. Step back one so I can see it. And now I'm going to drag it all the way up here so that that lens flare moves that way. Now I'm done, so I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Now if I go back to the beginning and hit play again, you see this lens flare move that way and this one move the other way. And that's it. There's a whole lot of different things you can do with it. You can make the lens flare move all up over the screen if you want to. You just gotta set up your keyframes the way you want them to be. So it's pretty easy to do and it's simple. So that's it. How to make a lens flare move across the screen. Video editing software guide.com. Don't you forget, I did this at a request of my good friend M424 Filmcast. Now, I used to have the moderator function on my YouTube page, but I didn't get a lot of requests. So if you want me to do more videos on specific tutorials or requests that you have, leave a comment on this video and tell me, hey, put the moderator back up. I want to make a request. I want you to do a tutorial. If you do that, it'll be really easy for me to see what kind of tutorials people want to see in my moderator section, and I can go ahead and knock them out for you. But I wasn't getting a lot of replies, so I need you to tell me. Do you want the moderator section on there so you can make some requests for some tutorials? Let me know. Leave a comment. If you like this video, hit the thumb. Let me know. Hit thumbs up. And don't you ever forget to subscribe. See you when I see you. Thanks for watching.